Welcome to this Deep Lizard series where we deliver bite-sized, practical, and intuitive explanations for the most common terms and concepts in the field of deep learning. I'm Mandy, and the topic of this episode is the sigmoid activation function. In an artificial neural network, an activation function applies a nonlinear transformation to the output of a given layer. One nonlinear activation function called sigmoid maps its inputs to the interval between 0 and 1. So for a given value x passed to the sigmoid function, we can see that the output from sigmoid is going to be e to the x divided by e to the x plus 1. In the case of neural networks, the x that we are passing would be the pre-activated output from a node in a layer. By looking at the graph of sigmoid, we can see it takes on this kind of S-shaped curve, where we have the bottom of the curve getting asymptotically close to zero, whereas the top is getting asymptotically close to one. And so for most positive values passed as input, we are going to be getting as output a value that is very close to one, whereas for most negative values, we will get an output from sigmoid that is very close to zero. When we pass values that are pretty close to zero around this uh, minus three to positive three range, then we will get a value that falls somewhere in the middle of zero and one, but not necessarily so close to one or so close to zero as we do for most negative and most positive inputs. When sigmoid is applied to a layer, it is being applied to each of the nodes within that layer. So for a fully connected layer, for example, we will take the sigmoid of each of the weighted sum of inputs for each node within that layer. Then we will get the activation of that node, the activated output of the node before passing that as input onto the next layer. When using sigmoid as an activation function, we can intuitively think of the output of sigmoid when it is closer to one, that that means it is more activated. So the closer to one the output is, the more activated that node is. And the closer to zero the output is, the less activated that node is. And so therefore, since the output of sigmoid lies between zero and one, then using the intuition that we just talked about, we can think about sigmoid as giving us a probability of activation for a given node. 